Good morning, everyone. The Lord be with you. Welcome. Uh, sorry, I always forget to leave you your part. Let's do that again. The Lord be with you. Thank you. It is the first day of classes. Yeah! Are we excited? Uh, this morning we uh, focus on a song about the light, and we'll revisit our theme for the year, Bible verse Ephesians 5, and we're going to do verses 1 and 2. And then uh, we're going to do another song, and as part of my own coping from transition from the parish to campus ministry, we're going to do a, what's called the Forgiveness Waltz. This is a song I've done for 15 years on New Year's Eve, as, uh, as uh, a night when people think about New Year's resolutions. Uh, for me, to focus on our theme for the year, Ephesians 5, verse 2, walk in love, and the phrase right before that uh, is imitate God as beloved children and walk in love. And part of what it means to walk in love, a major part of what it means to walk in love for us as Concordia and for us as Christian families, for us as students, faculty, and staff, is to live forgiven, to live in the light, and to live in the love of Jesus Christ, and not carry that weight that we tend to carry around, but be forgiven, and to live forgiven, and then to extend that forgiveness to others. So that, that's our focus this morning. We begin, however, with the passing of the peace. I invite you to rise and greet one another, welcome one another uh, to worship in the name of Christ. in the prayers before we sing the hymn. The hymn is, is number 649 in the blue hymnal. I want to walk 411. It's in both hymnals. It's in the blue hymnal on 649 or LSB on 411. Your choice. Hopefully the words are the same. If they're not, we'll see whose group is loudest. How does that sound? We'll begin, however, with the prayers of the church, and then we'll join in the hymn. Let us pray. Uh, Lord Jesus, we thank you for a break and for now bringing us back to, together to grow in our faith and in our trust in you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy Spirit, guide and calm new students on campus today. Help returning students to welcome new students and be helpful to them as they learn about life at Concordia. Lord, in your mercy. Creator of all things, watch over those in need and those less fortunate. Move your church to care for your creation near and far. Lord, in your mercy. We thank you for the Magi who walked in love so many years ago. Guide our feet, too, to follow you, to worship you, to open our hearts and minds to your grace and mercy. Lord, in your mercy. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for revealing yourself to the world as Savior of the nations. As the nations prepare to gather just a few weeks from now at the Olympics, we ask your blessings on those who would share your love at that event. Lord, in your mercy. Most of all, Jesus, we thank you for being the light of the world. Help us, lead us, make us to walk in your light this day and forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Please be seated. Um, our theme verse for this year, especially uh, the first phrase in ESV uh, of verse 2, let's read the whole thing together from Ephesians 5. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Uh, I'm curious, and if no one shares anything, that's fine, but does anybody have a New Year's resolution that you feel really good about, or even if you don't feel real good about, that you're willing to share this morning? You don't have to confess whether you've kept it or not. If you have failed already, that's more than fine. Yes. Let's give ter- Professor Schuler a round of applause. Okay, everybody add that one to your New Year's resolution. How does that sound? Wonderful. Other, other uh, New Year's resolutions, does anybody have any they want to share? No more pop. Excellent. We wish you God's grace and peace and courage as you walk in love with no more pop. I should do that too. It's, it's, uh, it's a vice of mine. Better life decisions. Amen. May that be true for all of us as well. President, were you raising your hand just a little bit or not? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Amen. No pop, no carbs, chapel, life decisions. Really? Wow. I, th- I thought you were going to say asparagus or something like that. <laughs> That's what my kids do during Lent. Give, us, give up Brussels sprouts for Lent. Yeah, real good, Noah. That's great. We, we, uh, anybody else have a resolution they want to share? Okay, I'm mindful today of resolutions as well. And, and uh, I'm, a, I'm a pop guy, so that I've, I've done this for 15 years. My New Year's resolution has been to reduce or eliminate. Maybe I should be more clear about that in my New Year's resolution. I don't know. They're called resolutions, however, uh, because we're doing it again. Most words that begin with the prefix re are a result of a cyclical nature. Uh, And resolutions are um, a symbol of something's not right in our life. And as Lutherans, as Lutheran Christians, uh, we, we identify that as, as the sinful nature, as we have been born fallen, and we fall short of the glory and the desire and the goals that God has for our lives. Yet there is this richness and this love that I want you to know about that you've heard many times, that God loves you and loves you just as you are, loves us way too much to leave us that way, and so he calls us uh, to gather and to be enlightened and makes us um, saints, though we are undeserving. And so as we focus on this, I want to I share a song. This is not a song of my own. I, wanna, I want you, uh, to teach it to you, the chorus, but uh, briefly before. Um, there are some powerful words, and I was not here when the year began. But for me, this is a, this is a staggering statement. Maybe we should make it a goal. My, re- my resolution for all of you today is to tell somebody else to do this today on campus. Point at them and say, hey, go and imitate God. What do you think their response would be? Uh, maybe maybe you, they would say you weren't quoting scripture. That doesn't sound theologically correct. <laughs> I can't imitate God. Yet there it is, real close to our theme verse. Well, Paul writes to the church in Ephesus. Imitate God. And we as Lutherans have this great question. And the question is, what does that mean? What does this mean? And for me today, as I focus on this song, as beloved children, uh, we gather. Um, We are not equivalents. Tomorrow, the hand-in-hand kids will be with us here in chapel. Uh, Yet because of God's word and because of God's grace, those hand-in-hand kids are brothers and sisters 
with us. And, and those of you studying Greek don't have the same knowledge as Professor Mark Schuler in the Greek biblical language or many other areas. But because of God's grace and love, we are brothers and sisters. We gather as family. And we lift each other up as family. And we embrace and forgive one another as family. As, as children, we together strive to imitate God. We walk in love. Uh, there's other things we step in in our daily walk and carry with us. But God's word calls us out of that and says, I know you, I know your life decisions even. God knows my failures and my life decisions. And yet calls me to walk in love. And, and then this last powerful phrase, and I put it in red because of the cross that is in the center of our worship and the center of our campus. Because God loved you and laid down his life for you. This is love, uh, that we may go and love others. My New Year's resolution for you, as we, as we sing this song, and it's a song by, uh, sorry, the black is not easy to run. Does anybody know the, the, uh, a fellow sinner songwriter with me, Jonathan Rudmond? Jonathan is a Minneapolis, he's a, he's a friend of mine. We've, we've uh, done things together for many, going on 25 years, believe it or not. But this is a song uh, that, I, that I have done on New Year's Eve for, for many, many years in the parish. And so I want to teach you the chorus. It's a waltz. That's why I like to do it on New Year's Eve, I think. Uh, sing it with me if you know it. Uh, otherwise, listen to the chorus here, and then we'll repeat this slide. It goes like this. It's like a dance. It's like a wheel. Less like math, less like a deal, more like a heartbreak beginning to heal. We can start over, we know forgiveness. Try that with much with me. are two verses, and as I uh, sing them, I invite you to sing along. The melody is not difficult, but more than that, I invite you to reflect on God's grace and God's incredible love for me, God's incredible love for you that calls us out of darkness to walk in love and to live forgiven in his name each and every day.
Let us pray. Lord Jesus, as we gather on this first day of classes for this new semester, we're mindful of your incredible gift you have given to us on the cross. You laid down your life, you gave your blood, so that we as sinners may trade places with your perfection. As we think this day, Lord, about New Year's resolutions, help us, Lord, to walk in love, to feast in your light, and to accept your gift of love into our hearts and to do the best we can to imitate the perfection that is yours in our daily living. Help us, Lord, to live forgiven, to know that we are forgiven, and to extend that forgiveness to others. In your holy name we pray. Amen. God's blessings to you, faculty, staff, and students on this new semester. Uh, Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.